Let's find out who we are today according to a Bible. Cause you ain't no black man. You ain't no nigga. You ain't no real nigga. That's not who you are. You are the Israelites according to the Bible. God's yeah. chosen people. Read. The book of John chapter 8 verse 32. And ye shall know the truth. This is Christ speaking. Christ Jesus, the black Messiah. That's right. Jesus is a black man. That's right. He's speaking. Read it again. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Who the only people on earth that's not free on today? Who the only people that get pulled over and get shot multiple times by the police officer? going through that? Who the only people live in the worst neighborhoods on the planet Earth? Only the blacks and Hispanics. Right. Read it again. The book of John chapter 8 verse 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So the Most High God said the truth is going to make us free. What are the lies? In order to find out the truth, you have to tear down the lies. Let's get the first lie. Who are we according to the Bible? Who are we meant to be? Are we meant to stay down at a lower state? Come out let me for a second, sister. Deuteronomy 28 and 15. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass. How you doing, my brother? What's your name, man? Say it again. Diego. Let me ask you something. Just give me five minutes. Walk away after five, 10 minutes. According to the Bible, what do you know about it? Do you go to church? No, absolutely nothing about the Bible. What? Okay. So you don't go to church, correct? There's nothing wrong with that. Because I'm going to tell you why. The church is not teaching what they're supposed to be teaching. Watch this. What color is Jesus Christ? What color is Jesus Christ, my brother? Well, to the, according, according to the biblical scripture, um, Allah said uh, the prophet Jesus last long, he, 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 was, he, he had, he had, he had hand wool uh -huh. and feet of a burning furnace. Uh -huh. So let's get so, so, hold on, hold on. He had skin of black clay. Right, right, right. So let's mother. get that from the Bible. Cause, so you're saying that he had all these attributes. Right. Now watch this. Now notice I asked you a question you ain't, you was able to answer. Right. But if I was to go into the church and ask that pastor a question, would he be able to prove it from the Bible? Brother, brother, but watch brother, this, brother. watch this. Revelation 1 and 14. I asked this brother first. All right, read. The book of Revelations, chapter 1, verse 14. Let's get the color of Christ. How does Christ look? Read. His head and his hair were white like wool. The Bible said Christ's head and his hairs were white like wool. Wool. Do you know what woolly texture of hair is? Have you ever seen a sheep before? What type of texture of hair does he have? He has the same hair texture that you got. Woolly texture. Now watch this. Let's play this attraction game or the telemark game. There are other people on this earth. Like, watch this. Stay with me. Like the so-called white man. Like the so-called China man. Do they have woolly hair? They don't have sheep like hair. So looking like looking like right now, me and you, we the only people that has this woolly hair. So that's strike one on this picture right here. You may not go to church, but you have relatives that do, correct? You don't know. You don't know if they go to church or not? What about your grandma, your granddad, your brothers, your sisters, friends? Do you know if they go to church or not? You know about your friend? All right, but when you when you think about Jesus, is this not what you see? Do you not see that on television? So that's what we are here to do, to, to kill the lies. In order for you to know the truth, you have to destroy these lies. So that's strike one on him. Does he have woolly hair? So this can't be Jesus. By strike one, this cannot be Jesus. Someone is lying. Keep reading. As white as snow. As white as what? As white. That's no. He has yellow hair. As you can see, he has this yellow hair thing going on. Some pictures he has some red hair. Some pictures he has yellow hair. So this is explaining that this man has what? Read it again. His head and his hair 
are white like wool. We don't. As white as snow. We don't. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And Christ's eyes was as a flame of fire. Does that mean that he shoot things out of his eyes? No, it's a prophecy in Genesis saying that Christ drunk wine. So when you drink wine, your eyes begin to turn red, read. And his feet. Now watch this. Would not your feet be the same color as your face? So let's see what color his feet is, read. And his feet like unto fine brass. His feet like unto fine what? Unto fine brass. Christ's feet was the color of brass. Do you know what the color of bread is? brass is? Huh? What's the color of brass? Color of a penny. Good job, bro. That's brass. So now, when you're thinking about Jesus, if his feet the color of brass, how's he looking right now? And how's this image right here looking? It looks like he already don't struck out. Because he's not the what? The color of a penny. He's not the color of brass. He's not a brown skinned man. He's not a he's not a brown skinned man at all. He's a pale skinned man. So this is not Jesus the Christ. This is not the Messiah. Read on. Now let's see how brown Christ is. As if they burned in a furnace. What happens to anything if you was to burn into the furnace? Rice, chicken, pizza, grits. It doesn't matter. What color does it turn if you burn it? Black. So what color is Christ according to this Bible? Black. You see how easy that is? So now you just learned the truth about the Bible. You don't have to worry about somebody saying, okay, is Jesus Christ white or is he yellow? Or is he the olive green? According to the Bible, he's black. Now, do you know the, um, let me ask you one more question. Your dad or your granddad, do you know what nation of people or heritage they come from? Is that Hispanic, black? Do you know that? That's fine, that's fine. We're gonna go along with the Bible. Okay, now watch this. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 1. Because you said you don't know a lot about the Bible, you don't really go to church. That's fine, that's good. Because you got a what? A fresh memory. You don't have to worry about a lot of lies that's been taught to you. So now you're able to just get the flat out truth. All right, you ready? Now watch this. Deuteronomy 7 and verse 1. Start with Deuteronomy 7 and verse 1. No Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Watch this. We're going to go real fast, quickly through the Bible, what the Bible is about. All right? Stay with me. Deuteronomy 1 and 1. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Who was Moses speaking to? Read it again. These be the words. Which Moses These be the words which Moses spake to whom? Spake unto all Israel. Who was Moses speaking to? There you go. You see how you get into one, level one? Now we're going to go into level two. You got to realize that the Bible is only speaking to the Israelites. The Israelites are a certain people today. Stay with me and you're going to find out who those people are today. They are a certain people today. The Israelites are not going away with. They're still here on this earth. Go to Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Let's see, let's see what he thinks about those Israelites. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Read on. For thou art an holy people. So God said these Israelites are an holy people. You know what holy means? It means it's separate according to the Bible. That means they keep the laws. That's what separates them from the other people. You understand that? Give me Romans 7 and 12 to prove that right quick. That means they were separated from the other people. They're not like the other people on this earth. Do you think all people are the same on this earth, according to the Bible? Why would you say that? Why would you say that not everybody is not the same? What makes us different? What makes certain people different? Is, you just know everybody's not the same. All right, read this. The book of Romans, chapter 7 and verse 12. Uh -huh. Wherefore the law is holy. What's holy? Wherefore the law is holy. Now go back to Deuteronomy 76. So God saying these Israelites are holy. God just said the laws are holy. That's what separated them. That's what made them different. These individual people has God's laws. All right? Do right. you know what laws are? What are laws? Uh, I know what they are. I, I just Kind of like rules. Yeah. It would be like rules. You understand? So let's say we live in America. They have laws, correct? If you run that flash like that's a what? You're breaking that what? Which they call a law. So God has laws for these nation of people called Israelites. So read on. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. 
for thou art an holy people. Thou art an holy people. The Israelites are the people that God gave the laws. Read on. Unto the Lord thy God. Unto whom? Unto the Lord thy God. So God said these are his people. Read on. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. He did what? The Lord thy God has chosen thee. Do you think everybody on the earth is equal? Do you think everybody on the earth is on the same level? Do you think, do you believe in God? You don't believe in God. What do you believe in? You don't believe in anything. Okay, cool. Now watch this. When you woke up out of the bed, did you wake up on your own? You feel like you woke up on your own. Okay. When you went to sleep and you was unconscious, and you decided to wake up. Did you feel like you did that on your own? That's what you're saying. All right, give me a uh, state. Finish this out. I got something for you. God has chosen thee uh -huh. to be a special people uh -huh. unto himself. Unto whom? Unto himself. Unto whom? Unto himself. Read on. Above all people. So that breaks that we are not equal. We are not equal according to the Bible. Teach up. God says that we are not equal. That's right. He said he chose us above all people. Right. So why do we want to follow the other nation's ways? Why do we want to follow their traditions? I know some of you are prepared, preparing for Christmas. I know some of you had already obtained or observed Thanksgiving. God said we cannot do those things. Why? Read. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Because God said that the Israelites, the so-called black man, are above all nations of the earth. Right. Right. Now give me Deuteronomy 32 and verse 39. My brother, my brother, when you die, where do you go? You don't know that, right? So whoever made you, you have to return to that. Your spirit has to return to that, brother. You cannot walk around here and think you doing everything up on your own because you're not. Who made us? How do we get here? How did the earth get here? You understand that? Somebody had to make it. You see those eyes you have, those arms you have, those legs you have? That's called an artist. Right. Someone created you. Right. That's common sense. We just have to find who created us. Who is the one true God? We're gonna find that out by prophecies. This book is a true book. It speaks about prophecies. Read. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39. See now that I, even I. The Most High God said, I, even I, read. Am he. Is what? Am he. What does he do? And there is no God with me. Did you catch that? What did it say? There is no God with him. Good job. You got to listen to ear. God said there is no God with him. So do not be, even if you say you don't believe in God, your first step you need to acknowledge is that there is only one God. Right. Read it again. See now that I, even I. My brother, do you know that you're Israelite? Read it again. See now that I, even I, am he. Read on. And there is no God with me. Read on. I kill. You do what? I kill. You see when people are having funerals, when people are get, a lot, getting killed, the most High God allows that to happen. Right. Oh, you think that was coincidence? Read it again. See now that I am I am he, Calm and down. there is no God with me. You know? I kill. I do what? I kill. Read. And I make a lie. He kills and he makes a lie. You want to know how you was born on this earth? The most high God allowed that to That's happen. That's right. He kills and he makes a lie. Right. So we should be giving glory, all the glory to the God of Israel. But we haven't been taught him correctly. Read. I wound. And I heal. I wound and I what? And I heal. Read on. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So let's see if this Bible is a true book. What are, what are they? What are you in high school or middle school? What are they teaching today in high school? Um, according to history, what are they teaching? Do you know about the um? um I mean, I, I'm in World War One right now. You're in World War One. Okay. Have they treat? Uh, have they taught you about the trade slave? so-called blacks they haven't you in what grade are you in high school ninth. you're in ninth grade and they haven't mentioned yet about slavery what about thanksgiving they haven't learned 
they haven't taught you anything about Thanksgiving, about the, about, uh, what you call that? Um, Squanto, Squanto and, um, and, um, other Spaniards coming together, having a fish together. You haven't heard about that? You know, all they be telling us is about war. About wars. Okay, let's talk about wars. Let's see what the Bible says, how those individuals took over this earth. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. Bring it out. Everything is prophesied in the Bible. Let's see how those individuals that you're learning about in school took over this land. Because is this land, um, the, the Caucasian man, which is so-called white man, which is Esau, according to the Bible? Is this his land, or did he take it? He took it. Right. Did you know that's prophesied in the Bible? Did you know that, my brother? My brother, what's your name? What's your Big Head. Big Head, I'm Joy. All right, my brother. All right, Big. Shalom, bro. Did you know that was in the Bible, the prophecies, that, that it prophesied that the other nations, which is the so-called white man, Spaniards, they would come over here and they would take this land. Let's find out. Read this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass. See, that's what we don't realize about this Bible. We mock and we turn up not knowing that the Most High God is doing everything. God said it shall come to pass. Right. When he says something, that means it's going to happen. Bring it out. He documented it in the Bible. Right. So why not in our right mind would I not believe in something that was prophesied thousands and thousands and thousands of years ago but has happened? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth. <laughs>